Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, you already know what's up. is Monday Motivation. And this this uh, week and this episode is not just any Monday Motivation. We're doing, um, we're also doing uh, a Thanksgiving special. You know what I mean? We're doing uh, the holiday special because as you already know, the holidays are upon us. And uh, for some people, you guys need a lot of uh, extra motivation, you know, a lot of extra boosters of no motivation. We've all been there um, and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, that's why today, you know, I'm making this episode, you know, um, because I think it's going to be, you know, something that a lot of you guys can, you know, use. All right. So what are we going to talk about today? You got to be thankful. Yeah, I know. I know. Sounds cheesy. You know, don't, don't turn it off just yet. Basically, again, you gotta be grateful, man. You know, you gotta be really, 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 really grateful for what you got. You know, I guess simply put, if you're watching this right now, okay, no matter what your position, no matter what your position is, you know what? there are at least, you know, six and a half billion people that have it worse than you, all right? Just to start, just to start, okay? So, that million, billion, all right, and that's just to start, you know what I mean? Like, again, you know, you got to be very, very thankful for what you got, whatever it is that you got, okay? As little or as a, a lot as you got, whatever it is, but... In the case of many, the problem is, you know, that whole situation where, you know, um, if you're in a position um, where you forget to give thanks, it's because you're probably living, you know, in a world, you're probably living. <laughs> Sorry, this is some noise back there. But anyways, hey, you're probably living in some world in the universe in which, you know, you know, you're the victim. Woe is me. Um, nobody gives me anything. I, everybody, everybody has everything. I have nothing. So if you're in that kind of like a mentality, it's really, really hard to be thankful. But if you're one of those people out there that is actually very thankful and uh, gives thanks on a regular basis because you truly mean it and you truly understand how blessed we all are and all that good stuff, then, you know, you'll be all right. Because look, right now, you know, this week, this is uh, Thanksgiving week, and um, I'm actually getting ready to have a big Thanksgiving meal. You know, I'm going to be having Thanksgiving in my house, in my new house, okay? Um, I'm going to be having a lot of friends over, okay, um, for Thanksgiving. And this is something that I haven't had in a very long time, and I didn't think I was going to have, I didn't know when I was, when I was going to have something like this happen and again, you know, to tell you the truth. Because for a very long, long time, you know, um, you know, my Thanksgivings were pretty shitty, you know. Um, in fact, you know, to tell you the truth, you know, like, uh, come to think of it, um, the only Thanksgivings that were any good, um, were the ones that I had when I was a little kid, you know what I mean, when we were kids. Um, but other than that, all Thanksgiving going forward one way or the other, and I'm just being 100% honest, you know what I mean? You know, there was a lot of good Thanksgivings out there, you know, don't worry, don't get me wrong. We definitely had a good, a few good ones out there, but for the most part, they were kind of shitty, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just speaking about Thanksgiving in general, you know, like I'm not talking about, you know, uh, the other holidays, okay, we're just mistaking the Thanksgiving at the moment, but, you know, at the end of the day, I, Thanksgiving was my favorite holiday ever because, you know, since a young kid, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we were taught, you know, um, whether it was uh, in the indoctrination camps or at home or whatever, but we were taught the whole thank you, the, the, uh, the, what is it? The being thankful, okay? The whole being grateful and, uh, and uh, what the whole holiday meant. And so, to me, that meant a lot, you know what I mean? Because it was just like, no matter how shitty or how crappy, or how, you know, anything was, you know what I mean? Like in the negative sense, you know, we had to be grateful that we at least had a plate of food. No matter how that plate of food came, whether it's you're having it in a, in a huge uh, feast with a bunch of people, you get what I'm saying? Or it's just you and your hungry man, okay? Or you and your, your fucking can of shit boy RD. Or you and just your girlfriend or your whatever, you know what I mean? Or your, your spouse, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, be thankful that you at least have that. You know, be thankful for, you know, again, everything else in your life. Again, wherever you are, you know, you could be, no matter how many steps below or down you think you are, you could be way worse, all right? Again, if you're one of, if you're actually watching this video, um, you know, right off the bat, you know, right off the bat, you know, you're already 
ahead of the game. You're already like in a sense of like so many, you know what I mean? You already have so many advantages and so many reasons just to be thankful for, you know, of uh, the fact that you, you know, have the ability to watch me. You get the ability to complain to the point where, you, and then on top of that, you know, the ability to, to, to you know, to have a, um, um, some sort of device in which you're watching this on uh, or listening to this on. And um, that, you know, again, whatever it is that you have, you're in full control of, it's all up to you and your actions and what you choose to do with your life and all this other stuff, you know what I mean? So, you know, the, the re honestly, what I think I'm gonna be doing here is that, again, we're doing double duty on this one, all right? This is, you know, a very important week for a lot of people, one way or the other. And um, we're gonna talk more about that, okay? In a second. But I'm actually here because I got to pay my phone bill. So let me pay my phone bill real quick. Once I pay my phone bill, we're going to get back to this conversation. Now, usually I play Gary V at the end of the video. But in this video, I'm going to play Gary V twice. All right. So we're going to have Gary V right now. Okay. So while I'm paying my phone bill, I'm going to have Gary V entertain you guys for a minute. All right. <laughs> and, and as he's entertaining you guys, think about what he has to say about, you know, what he says and uh, everything I just said and then uh, we're gonna get back to all right talking about being thankful on Thanksgiving what it really means again it's not just Thanksgiving but you know everything about the holidays so all right Gary V what do you have to say about all this like do you understand what's there's there's genocide going on right now like what do you think's going on like we lack perspective your conference got fucked up boo-hoo I lost a client Boo hoo, there's people fucking dying out there. <laughs> like, like, so when Americans or Europeans talk to me about race or gender, I'm sad, it's their real life, but I remind them because it's a positive thing, cool, but let me tell you about the person that's ranked seven billion in the world. They fucking have it bad. We got real, like listen, you know I got hot on this about a year ago, the 400 trillion to one. It's impossible to be a human being, you won. Four hundred trillion to one. When you understand that math, how can't you live your life? That's how rare it is to be a human being. You've been given this ridiculous triple miracle. You've got one at bat, please do something about it. We are living through the greatest era to be alive ever. Yes, there's stuff. I got news for you, there's always stuff. But when you take control of your at bat, when you put it all on yourself, when it's your fault and your wins, when you own it, that's when it starts happening. So please, please squeeze the shit out of your one life. It's impossible to be a human being. You won. I don't know how to get upset after that. I keep shit in perspective. Uh, you know why I'm always happy? I blame myself. When you blame yourself for real, you're gonna always be happy. Because you don't feel like somebody else controls you. This is the reason I'm happy 24-7, 365 for the rest of my life. 400 trillion to one. The odds of becoming a human being. It's, it's about eliminating being at the mercy of anything or anyone. Like, I just don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You gotta start with yourself because when you're actually allowing other people to get in, you're vulnerable. On me, on me, on me. My fault. There's nothing you can say. My big thing is, don't complain. You're in control. So many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that, just, that is just very much human nature. If you're complaining, do something about it. I don't know if anybody knows, but slavery's been gone for a while. Your boss might be the biggest jerk of all time, but guess what? You can go get another job. Right now, wrap your head around this ridiculous gift that you were given. It's called life. You're using your fucking eyes to watch this and your ears to listen. Go step out and do your thing. The one thing you've always wanted to do or the 10, 50, 100 things you've always tried to do because the only thing that's keeping you back is the other people that are judging you and who gives a fuck about them?
All right, guys. So yeah, um, I originally was gonna play that at the end of the video, but I decided, man, I, I just, I, I wanna play it now because usually I just have a cut, you know, from one to the other. And I was like, you know what? Let me, let me have this as a segue into the next thing. So, you know, again, guys, you know, just going back to uh, everything I was saying, you know, so, you know, for, for a long, long time, you know, I, I, I get it, you know what I mean? I might, I'm, I'm, I was in a position you know, again, I'm, what I'm gonna do is what I usually do, all right? Tell you my story, all right? And then usually someone out there, you know what I mean? Like, uh, can relate in some shape, you know, shape or form or whatever. Um, so yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, long ass time ago, you know what I mean? Like, for a very long time, I had very little to be thankful for. I, I went through that period. You know, when I was a little, little kid, you know, Thanksgiving was awesome, it was very special, you know, it meant a lot, you know? Um, you know, my dad really tried to, you know, uh, instill the whole American value situation of, you know what I mean, of Thanksgiving being, you know, a whole family thing and uh, being uh, very thankful. You know, the whole idea of uh, just constantly being thankful for, you know, uh, whatever you got, whatever, how little or as much as that is. So yeah, sorry, there's like some noise and music back there. I was trying to see uh, what's uh, going on with that. One second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's just that the music was getting really, really loud, and uh, I've already gotten a few copyright strikes, you know what I mean, on, on several channels for that. And um, the thing is that, like, I don't want to, you know, mess around with that because, you know, um, those copyright strikes, you know what I mean, uh, they're random, you know what I mean? Some, most of them, they're harmless, but sometimes, you know, they can really, really harm your channel. So to me, I'm just trying to avoid that because, again, they're very random, and I'm trying to, you know, keep at least this channel as uh anyone no wait i don't know what channel we're fucking making videos for anymore by the way check out my website so you can see all the channels and all the content i make but anyways let's get back to that you know what i mean so what i was talking about so you know right now i have a lot to be thankful for you know i honestly do i'm not gonna lie to you i really do have a lot to be thankful for right now but there was uh you know times in my life in which uh you know i felt like i had nothing to be thankful for you know what i mean like i was saying when i was a kid thanksgiving was awesome it meant a lot because of you know, the way that, you know, my dad, you know, uh, instilled it in us and all that good stuff. Um, and I really did have a lot to be thankful for, you know, things were pretty great, you know. And again, I don't know if it was my dad's attitude or whatever it was, but the point is, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, then as uh, my dad actually passed away when I was young, in my early 20s. And so after that happened, you know, I was just trying to keep the whole Thanksgiving uh, idea uh going and so and he, and then you know for me you know it was it was even hard it was at least for our family it was kind of hard because like nobody wanted to to do anything like that nobody wanted to you know um you know do thanksgiving again just because hola buenos dias yes <laughs> um no one wanted to to do that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, because, you know, again, because of my dad that passed away, um, and he was the one that was like, basically the guy that, you know, did the whole thing. And it was just, you know, things that, around that. But I was like, no, no, I, I, we gotta do it. We gotta continue, you know, doing it. I mean, how we gotta have the family together, yada, yada, yada. And so I did that, you know what I mean? I was doing that for a very long time. And for me, it was easy because I was a chef, you know? So I was able to do that for a long time. But as you know, you know what I mean? Like a, a, after a while, um, you know, that didn't just last, it just didn't last. And so, and eventually I, I moved away from Miami and things happened in my life. And, uh, you know, just the whole thing splintered away after I left, you know, my, uh, my sister, you know, kept going with the tradition and she's still doing it over there. You know what I mean? Uh, with the family, but you know, for me, you know, in about almost a decade or yeah, about a decade, I really haven't had like an actual Thanksgiving per se, you know, I mean, it's always been like maybe a Friendsgiving or, you know what I mean? Like all kinds of, uh other variations of the the traditional one but not an actual thanksgiving you know a lot of times again it was just me and my hungry man or whatever or i was working or whatever you know and um that's why i'm making this video because i know there's a lot of people out there that are still in that position and so you know even last year last year, okay so the first year i was i was first year i was here just to give you a little timeline but the first year that i was here um, basically, again, I just had Thanksgiving here by myself. There was nobody. I didn't know anybody. I didn't anything. I, I, in fact, I think maybe somebody hit me up and maybe we went and had like uh, fucking tacos. You know what I mean? For Thanksgiving. Me and some other gringo. I'm not quite sure. No, I don't really remember, but I, I kind of remember. I think that's what, what I did. Um, very uneventful, you know, like a, like a lot of other Thanksgivings before that one up until then. And then uh, last year, you know, I was with Christian. 
So she's never even heard of fucking Thanksgiving. So it was like a whole thing that, you know, I had to explain to her and uh, we did it and it was fun. You know, she liked some of the food, some of the other food she didn't like, um, but she loved the idea of what the holiday meant, you know, the being thankful. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know what I mean? Great. And so like, I felt re-energized to do it again. So then this year, a couple, um, you know, about a month. Yeah, but yeah, my, at this point, it's been a month, you know. But at the at the beginning of the month, we were celebrating the Dia de los Muertos, you know, the Day of the Dead out here. And we did a special Day of the Dead live stream. So check that one out, you know what I mean? Again, it's on the cooking channel. Um, but anywho, we did a, a Day of the Dead, um, you know, uh, live stream, you know, um, cooking uh, the traditional food that they cook out here. This giant tamal was freaking awesome. It was amazing. Huge success. It was, an, it was really, really good. But I digress, you know what I mean? Like the point I'm making is that as we were, you know, do, hanging out, doing that whole thing with the family, everybody was having fun, we were enjoying ourselves, and we were like, huh, wait a minute, when do we uh, do Thanksgiving? We were talking about the holidays, grandma was already talking about Christmas, you know, we were talking about various, various things, and so, you know, what we were gonna plan on doing and all this other stuff, so I started to think, uh, and, and then grandma knew about Thanksgiving because she spent time in the U.S. and so she knows about things. She loves Thanksgiving. She loves Thanksgiving food, you know. And so she's like, "Oh, you're gonna cook Thanksgiving?" She was like super happy and all that stuff. So, you know, basically, um, you know, then I was like, "Okay, well, maybe I'll do another live stream." I mean, well, I was already thinking about doing a live stream and cooking Thanksgiving live because, again, even if it was just me and Christian, um, I mean, I was just gonna do that. But then. You know, as grandma was uh, inviting herself, as other, you know what I mean? As, as I was like, you know, really enjoying, you know, I'm, I'm doing all the cooking now. Um, again, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm cooking on a regular basis. Uh, I've got a nice big kitchen that I, I had, uh, you know, put into the, to the house. Um, and then on top of that, like, the, you know, the whole aspect that comes with, uh, you know, I was already filming it too. And just the whole thing just kind of came together. And so I was like, well, wait a minute. And now, at this point, I've been here almost three years in Mexico, and I know a lot of people. I've met a lot of friends, you know what I mean? I've, I've, uh, I have a lot to be grateful for. I mean, I got a lot to be grateful for. My whole life has been amazing, you know what I mean? I put, you know, let's not get into that, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, I really, you know, I, this, this, uh, these years, as I've been, since ever since I've been in Mexico, I really, really do have a lot, a lot, lot, lot to be grateful for. So, and I was like, huh. I started, uh, you know, contacting a few of my friends, and before I knew it, I was like, oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Let me just uh, not only throw a big Thanksgiving bash, but invite, you know, my closest, uh, some of my closest friends out there. You know, the ones that are, you know, um, <laughs> that I talk to on a regular basis that, you know, are expats, that are American. You know, again, this is not for everybody. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, keep it like that because I know all of them. Even if they're here and they're in like with their family or small communities, for the most part, <clears throat> they don't really, they're not really able to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, just like, uh, again, just like what we used to. And again, this is not, you know, even this Thanksgiving is not a regular Thanksgiving. It's more of a Friendsgiving, but it's a real, real, you know, big, uh, you know, kind of like being grateful for, because again, as you guys already know, um, <laughs> for anyone that's already living out here and uh, made the journey out here, we have a lot to be grateful for being out here. So this is like a huge celebration, you know, like um, for a lot of things and especially surviving this year, you know, this has been a crazy fucking year and I can go on and on, but yeah, you know what I mean? I got a huge uh, amount of my friends, you know, that are coming over, all American, all expats, you know, um, we're gonna do the whole Thanksgiving thing and it's gonna be awesome. Because again, now all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It all just came together. You know, now, um, before, I remember when I spent uh, many, many lonely Thanksgivings, you know, very sad and upset and, or again, lonely Thanksgivings either by myself, eating my hungry man, or even cooking the whole meal for my family and being lonely. You get what I'm saying? You know, like it wasn't like, it was not, you know, not something that um, I was happy with at the end of the whole, Thing. and um again just like many things you know what i mean remember it's not life ain't, ain't perfect family ain't perfect but thank god we at least got them right so let me see okay this way so you know with all that being said you know what i mean like at the end of the day you know you really got to be grateful you know you really got to be thankful for whatever it is you got as, as little as as it is 
it's a lot too many 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 people out there and the thing is that if you're most likely watching this then you're in a position to get yourself out of that okay so you know again you're very 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 lucky individual out there you know what i mean that you can you hate your job quit it and get another one um get another one then quit okay but anyways um you <laughs> you know you're unhappy with where you live move you're unhappy with the person you're with leave them you know what i mean i can go on and on all right so but you you got to be able to do it you know what i mean you got to be able to take control over your own life and your own dominion and if you don't do that well you're going to continue you know living the way you're living and uh completely missing uh the point of uh, even a day like uh, thanksgiving like uh, again it used to happen to me from time to time you know where i was just uh you know sitting there and uh moping and woe is me and playing the victim just because you know uh i wasn't happy worth where i was um that thanksgiving and uh you know uh in retrospect you know again just like uh, we talk about now on a regular basis you know it was all up to me you know what i mean it was basically me and me and my choices let me see yeah me and my choices me and my decisions me and my everything you get what i'm saying so you know this thanksgiving okay no matter what the hell you're doing whether you're sitting with your shitty family or again you know what i mean I just be happy that you at least got a family to sit with if uh, you're by by yourself eating a hungry man be grateful you at least got your fucking hungry man um whatever 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 it is that you're you're going through whatever position that you're in whatever anything you gotta be very 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 happy and very grateful okay um for what you got because otherwise my god you know what i mean it's really 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 gonna be a tragedy and really terrible because you won't really truly understand how lucky you actually have it and how lucky you are and uh that yeah you know what I mean? like you got full control over everything and uh you know what you need to be doing is that if you're not out there celebrating on this day you know um this week these uh these months you know this whole time that's coming up then you need to figure out what the fuck is wrong and fix it okay you need to fix your shit because they ain't working all right it's as simple as that all right so and uh yeah you know what i mean guys i mean for reals you know i don't know what else to say except uh, i've already said it many 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 times before and uh you already know what's up so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video i'm gonna play another gary v you know at the end of this one you know because i know you guys love him and then the reason look by the way the reason i use him over and over again is because if i use anybody else i get copyrights i get in trouble i get whatever but he makes his stuff you know free to use he makes his stuff uh you know so i can use it and put it out there so you know for a lot of you guys that i've already seen him some of you guys want to watch him again for some of you guys that have never seen him again you get to be introduced to to him again he talks about business and he talks about other stuff but at the end of the day you know he himself is a meme you know where he is telling you a lot of the same shit i'm fucking telling you and a lot of uh, other um what is it motivational entrepreneurs are telling you i do it for free like he does it for free because i don't think anyone should really charge for this now you know for anyone that wants to you know pay me to give them one-on-one -on -one, i'd be more than happy to but i don't uh you know i don't i don't hide any secrets i tell you exactly what you need to know same as he does okay and um and that's it and do it for free you know um I'm, seriously because there's no reason uh any everyone should not know this knowledge everyone should know this knowledge right um which we don't get taught in these days okay about really being thankful be, really being grateful um really be, you know taking hold of your life not being a victim you know and then so on and so on all the things that i talk about over and over again all right anyways guys thanks again for watching i really hope you enjoy this episode i really hope you enjoy the holidays i really hope you have a wonderful 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 week and um you already know how we're gonna do this all right we're gonna pick this up at the end of the week right i might have another episode for thanksgiving coming up we'll see i'll figure that out um you know on this channel but at the end of the day um you already know a lot of you guys just watch me for this so we'll see you at the next episode so i'll see you guys some point this week or probably next monday regardless i'll see you later thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome see you later and uh, i'm gonna let gary v you know take me out all right bye <laughs> my question is so you do what you do every single day 
you know, you wake up and you run your business and uh, you do your daily vlogs and um, you go places and you're a motivational speaker for a lot of people and pe people look up to you and they need motivation so they look up your shit. What drives you to do what you do and um, just keep moving and don't stop what you're doing? The gratitude for that situation. I'm completely driven by gratitude. Mm -hmm. Do you know how grateful I am? Like, do you know, what did I do? My parents had sex at this one moment and created me. <laughs> like, like, I'm being serious, I'm just grateful. Like, I have such a good thing going. People like it, I like it, it's so good. But like, what did I do? Like, do you know how lucky I was that I was an immigrant? Do you know how much I'm driven by a chip on my shoulder? Do you know how lucky I got that I was four foot 11 when I went into freshman year of high school? Like, all these things went in my favor. I don't know, man, I'm driven by gratitude. Every morning I wake up and I'm just grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. I'm 42 years old almost, and unfortunately, thank you, and unfortunately, my grandparents, three of my four grandparents died before I got to know them. So, so not only was I born in a communist country where capitalism and entrepreneurship is shit on, I went to the place where it's most on a pedestal. I got the greatest mom in the world. My dad taught me work ethic and my word, which made me not a bullshit artist, saved my ass, right? But then on top of everything else, I've had very little death or pain around me and I'm 42 years old. It's unfortunate why that's the case, given the circumstances before, but it's still my reality, right? And then I have a communication style that for some reason, who knew? Don't forget I was 33 years old before I even made a video. Like I didn't even, I, you, I never thought this could be, like I didn't even fucking cross my mind. I was a businessman. Like to, watching 20 year olds that are hungry and thinking about their lives, right? I'm excited because I'm like, bro, you don't have any clue where this might fucking go because you know, in, at 31 years old, I'm like, maybe I'll make a video on this YouTube thing. Like, you have no idea where it's going, so I'm completely driven by gratitude. I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful. And it, it drives the shit out of me. And, and that helps you like to not procrastinate and just like be in a slump, if you ever are like in a slump. I'm sure we all are. Everybody's in a slump, but here's my thing, man. Nobody gives a shit. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like the thing that people don't realize about slumps and depression, things that they, like, you, you gotta break them down. It's, for some people it's a real disease and it's real stuff, but that's, that's, that's on a different plane. But like being in a slump, like everybody's in a slump. Like everybody's got adversity, there's always something. To me, somebody's always got it worse. There's 7.7 .7 billion people. And unless I'm in some weird little cage in some fourth world country, that means I'm not in last place, which means I have nothing to complain about. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you live in America. Fuck yeah. The fuck are you complaining about? <laughs> and then just super quick, I was just wondering, you've spoken for a lot of uh, businesses and people, and I was just wondering, what do you think about Dutch Bros and what we are and what we do and the questions that a lot of the people have asked you? Yeah, I mean, look, the biggest takeaway for me is, like, there's a lot of energy, it's young and all that. It's all rad. To me, it's just really cool that there's a smart operator at the time. And listen, you guys know me, like I, have, I don't know him. Like I'm not like, I don't give a fuck about him. Like, and, like I'm being serious. I just, in, the same, in the same way he doesn't, to me, but I, I, it's important for me to tell you this because we don't know each other. We met three seconds before I came on stage. It's just cool to see somebody smart and building a framework that works both for his organization and the people in it. I know it because I do it as well. And it's cool and I'm like hopeful that this becomes humongous because you need examples of capitalism that is positive on both sides because I think that's the 2.0 version, right? Like, I think the reason I'm excited that I'm cool to young kids is I'm teaching them good principles, not bad principles. All the other dick faces that are popular on Instagram and YouTube are flashing fucking cars and watches and fucking club and all this fucking shit down these 23 year old dudes mouths and it's fucking stupid because it's short term behavior. I am collecting popularity because of gratitude and because once I get them in, then I'm like, okay listen, you wanna know what the real thing is? It's fucking hard work, it's being respectful, it's being a good person, it's being 30 years in the making. Like, and to me, my energy of this is like, it's cool to see it because you don't see it often, and when you see it, you appreciate it.